In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can design our single blog post page. So here, I'm going to my blog page. So this is the blog page which I designed. So here, I used a transparent header and menu text color to white and under this I have added a top header area it's looking good here now when I click any post I can see here is getting a default single post page design by DV so here also my header is existing here but uh, as I used a white color logo and white color text for menu so it's not showing here so here we need to add a top header area for this single blog post page so for this I'm going to enable visual builder here I am just cloning my existing page now from here I'm just loading my blog page so we can see it's not working here properly just uh, loaded our design in a section as a content but it's not working like other pages our header is not being changed and footer is not changing so to change this single post page we need to do something different so I'm just deleting this exit visual builder I'm not saving this layout so now I'm going to my dashboard and going to DV then DV theme builder options so here is a new edition of DV theme so from here we can design any default page layout or any custom global header or custom global footer so here we can add any global template for any pages or any post or any categories and so on so for now I'm going to design our blog post page so here I'm adding new template I'm going to design all post so it will work for all post by default create template now I'm going to add custom body here is two options build from custom body or add from library so we can try add from library just going to our existing page and now importing this blog page now going to edit now our header part is working also bottom part working but here I don't want this section or we can keep it just leaving this footer area and leaving this section here I will add something for our blog so here we can take two column and left side I am adding post so here is several module for our blog post so here is post content, post slider, post navigation and post title so I'm adding here post content so from here we can design our default style for our blog content and right side we can add sidebar widgets or something else which we need I'm just adding sidebar for this time adding sidebar and just uh, making it large size okay and here 
I need to add our post title so I'm deleting it here I am adding our post title here some additional options we can add but I am just leaving all those just keeping our title here here is our post title I'm going to style it here is text color to white alignment center and we can add some padding with this row for top area 40 pixel or 50 and some bottom area we can add some more for top area okay now I'm going to save it and for left area we can also style our default style here is style for h1 we can change our font style from here font width to light I'm making font width to light here is style for any quote or quotation so we can change also this left bar color here is border color we can change this border color here is image and here is other text so we can also edit or style any text we can also change our link style now I'm saving it and going back and save changes now I'm going to my website blog page and single post now we can see our design is working here so here is our post title here is our text for post here I did not add any image or any title here so it's only showing text content if we want to add here our post thumbnail image we can also do that just going there and here I am adding post title just moving it top and from here I'm leaving title meta element and here only featured image showing so I'm saving it and now refresh my page okay perfect so now you can see here is our post thumbnail image but here is so much spacing and also here we can also decrease all these just dragging here okay making it lower and from here we can also decrease our spacing for left and right zero and margin top and bottom zero saving it and check it now okay so now we can see our spaces is reduced we can here do so many styles we can also set our featured image as our title background or we can leave our right sidebar we can make it full width or here we can add also our subscription form or which we need here just I'm showing you how we can do this now I'm saving it and going back save all changes 
now refresh my page and that's it so hope this tutorial will help you if you have any comments or any confusion about this tutorial feel free to comment below and if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here and like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial